Hey everybody, Greg here at Video Maker. You know, keyboard shortcuts are a great way to speed up your editing process. And if you wanna see a few of our favorite keyboard shortcuts that we use all the time, uh, you can go ahead and click on the link and watch that quick tutorial. Um, but today I wanted to show you specifically how to assign something that doesn't have a keyboard shortcut uh, to effects or you know things that you use all the time in Premiere Pro. So I'm just gonna use two examples here and kind of show you how it works. So two things that I use all the time are unlink and enable. So those are two things that I like to set up uh, custom keyboard shortcuts for because when you crack open Premiere, those don't have keyboard shortcuts. So let's take a look at how we do that. Basically just go right up into the edit window, go to keyboard shortcuts. So this is where you can basically uh, see what keyboard shortcuts are for something and also you can search for something that maybe you use a lot and then apply a keyboard shortcut to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and type unlink and you'll see that normally this goes under clip, unlink, and the menu. I'm gonna click on unlink and then I'm gonna click edit. So what this does is it allows me to basically set my own preset, uh, keyboard preset. So I'm gonna do control U and say okay. So now when I click on my clip down here, I click control U and my clip's unlinked. So that's as opposed to going all the way up into the clip, coming down here, and this would not be grayed out if it wasn't already unlinked. So that's a really good one. Another one I really like to set one for is enable. So again, into the edit window, keyboard shortcuts, type in enable. Now there's a few different enables here. You can see there's effect enabled, multi-camera enable, but I'm talking about the clip enable one here. Now I'm gonna edit this and watch what happens when I hit control, let's do E. It's gonna warn me here, hey, the shortcut control E was already used by the application edit, edit original command. Well, that happens to be one I don't use. And I think control E is really easy to remember for enable. So you can always choose something else that isn't taken. But in this case, I'd rather have this be control E than the edit command. So I'm gonna click OK. So now if I highlight this clip, control E, it's disabled, control E again, and it's enabled. So whatever your favorite, um, you know, of things that you use and are constantly digging into these menus for, you really wanna consider putting a keyboard shortcut in there because again, it's just one more way to speed up your process and leave you more time to do all the fun stuff. One final thing that I wanted to mention that we've covered before in some previous posts and videos, but since we're covering keyboard shortcuts, it's an appropriate place to just remind you. Uh, if you go up into the edit window, keyboard shortcuts, up at the top here, you can see mine says custom because I've made some alterations, but Really, if you wanna go back to the normal presets, you can switch the Premiere Pro CS6. If you're used to 5.5 presets, you can do that. Avid Media Composer 5 users, if you're using Premiere temporarily or you're trying to get used to it, you can switch to Avid Media Composer 5 shortcuts. And Final Cut users can use the Final Cut Pro 7 shortcuts. So if you're unfamiliar with Premiere Pro shortcuts and you wanna start by getting, you know, be a little bit faster and use your old shortcuts, that's a great way to do it. So go ahead and leave comments about what your favorite uh, effects are and what keyboard shortcuts you like to add. I'm Greg Olson with Video Maker. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, Mike here. We know the Video Maker community is full of great ideas and insights. So if you've got production tips, tricks, or ideas everyone should know about, shoot an email to editor at videomaker.com and use the subject line video idea. Who knows, your suggestion just might be the next video we post. Once again, send your ideas to editor at videomaker.com, subject line video idea.